You hated Millwall. I don't think you spoke to a Millwall fan in over 50 no, years. Is that no, correct? I, I, I didn't. And then I've got two mates that are Millwall fans now. Uh, they're just a little bit younger than me and they're and really nice people. But we never got on. It was, it's the same with them. They say the same. And uh, uh, I, um, I had a phone call from a, a mate of mine who runs, I'm not sure if it's Fairburn House Boxing or West Ham Boxing Club. And he was in hospital visiting Tiny, who was one of the top people over at Millwall. And he said, I'm in hospital with Tiny. He's uh, got a growth in his neck the size of a grapefruit. He said, and uh, could you have a word with him? And I thought, so, what do you say to your enemy? You know what I mean? So I got on the phone to him and I said, look, I'm ever so sorry you are like you are. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. We've always been enemies and we always will be, but I've got respect for you and I always know you as tiny, the, the lion of Millwall. And uh, my mate got back to me and said he's in tears. And I thought, well, that. And people said to me, why did you say that? Why didn't you say you were a right cunt? I said, no, well, you can't say that to a man who's dying. You've got to have a bit of respect, you know? And uh, the, the poor bugger went, you know? 